Okay, USA Track and Field. Jumps and sprints. Virtual practice. Okay. These exercises and these drills, these exercises uh, in particular, and also drilling. Uh, these, are, these are crucial uh, points to work on, especially when you're right before a big meet. They, they tweak up uh, loose ends, they help you really get that extra uh, distance on your jump or, or, do, or you lower those times on your sprints or your race walks. And so that's what these are. Um, once we go into outdoor, then you're going into conditioning. And that's a whole different thing. So we'll start with the jumps, uh, which would be your long jump, triple jump, high jump. Um, one thing you want to you, you want to uh, get a boost out of is getting used to that um, jump with your legs, the, the jumping motion. So you get those fast twitch muscle fibers uh, really uh, prepped up for that last explosive step. So you get a step and and then you can either step down. And do, those, do that for the first set. And then when you do your next three sets of it, the most important thing you want to do is, is you want to get the jump and then down. Because stopping force going downward is how you get the most force going upward. Because the downward motion is an eccentric movement. So for the body to stop it, it builds the most strength in stopping it even more than it does jumping. So the stopping motion is gonna make you go up higher this way. So like I said, first you can just do the jump up, step down as a warm up, and then you warm your legs up to jump and you're, you're, you're warming up your Achilles and your calves and all that stuff. You all hop up with butt. And then, um, then you start off with a, um, You take, you take a step, you know, something like that, and you just hop off. Hop off. The foot that you're actually doing the high jump or doing the long jump with. So just, you just imagine that you're jumping and down. And you want to do those, hop, down, pause, hop, down, pause. Is your right leg, obviously you go with your right leg, whatever leg, what, what, whatever leg your predominant foot is that you jump with. So uh, four sets of five of those single leg jumps. Start off with both legs, go to single leg, do those jumps, and then you start training your body to do that come, come meet time and event time. Next on the jumps is simple movement, but you want to just take a couple steps and throw your arms out. A couple steps out. Get your body trained to go up and out here. Then as you're in the air, you'll bring them up here. Then you'll bring them down here. But before you go doing a full sprint, you want to make sure that your first move is in. So that's where most people start when they're not train through the whole thing properly that you go you start going like this and then you're already here and then this leg comes up 
and it's straightened out, you're like this. That's not projecting up. When you think up, you're like up first, then this. So just practice those jumps like a couple steps, jump. For eight reps, rest. Eight reps, rest for four sets. Four to five sets of eight. And those two are, are crucial to tweak up your jumps on the last minute, beside what you're doing on the actual um, on track drills that we put in the actual workout that, that we get in, in the app. Now let's, let's go to sprinting. Uh, I showed this to the throwers, but this is even more crucial to sprinters than jumpers. Is it is for glute activation and glute glute building? You want to stand out, let this point you back a little bit, and so it's pulling you a little bit, and then bring that right leg up, hold it for 10 to 15 seconds while this glute works. Come down, hold the other one up. Hold it for 15 to 20 seconds. Come down under your hip. And you want to do that for three sets of eight at those 15 to 20 second holds. And so that's a set. When you hold it for 15 to 20 seconds on both legs, that's one. Then you do it, that's two. So four sets, uh, three sets of eight. Uh, that's the actual movement you're doing with sprinting and jumping and glute activation. Moving on, uh, your um, so we know we know the skips where you. Are, are doing this in place, or you're going in that, that in place. So that's just it, except this time you want to do this. You see where that band exercise comes in, it's coming into this on the glute. So you want to only difference is you want to do that for 50 reps each leg. Because that starts mimicking the amount of steps you're going to take in a, in a 60, in a 100. You start getting more in that, that, that stride range. And you're training yourself to keep that form for that long. So do your three sets to four sets of 10 reps of each leg on those on those uh, skips and then you'll start to develop the form to keep the form together the whole way. Now as you know the focus is bring that foot past the knee, foot past the knee, not high knee which tends you to go back here, get your knee up. Now you want to say get my foot past my knee, then you don't have a lot of long recovery. You just, foot comes up past your knee, you just think to get it out. You get it out, down, under you as you're moving. Okay. On the, uh, for the arm swings, by If you stand forward to where this is pulling your arm back, it's taut, not too taut, but, but kind of taut, and you want to you wanna bring your arm forward and back like this, and keep it in a straight line, 
And what that does is, it forces you to bring your shoulder back so you get used to it and, pu and push this way. So when you get on a track, your arm goes back and then it's relaxed when it comes up here and then it's forced when it goes back. And that's what it should be. You'd be like, boom, boom, because you're trying to get that momentum going. So if you're going like this, my shoulder's not going back. So it's like generating the force this way. So it's like, it's almost like you're making yourself walk fast and then the knees don't come up, they don't need to. But if you go back here, then this coincides with it. This coincides. Because the shoulder's going back. If you come here, then the knees go inside, they don't come up as high. So that's a great way to train you to drive that arm back, that shoulder back, so it helps you get forward. If, you, if you're up here too much, you're not getting enough, boom, boom. So you don't wanna be back here or rudder it like this. You wanna be boom, and then up, boom. So you're just, you wanna get your shoulder into the spring, not your arm. Your shoulder has to help you. So that's a good way to train that. And do each arm, you can do both arms, put a, a, a band on each, you can do one arm, and do that for uh, 15 reps, relax, 15 reps, four sets of 15 for those. As a, and this is the creme de la creme exercise for, with this exercise, on a 400 meter, you could knock off 10 seconds. On a 200 meter, you could knock off two to four seconds of your time. If you get tired on a 100 meter, which starts to get some people tired, you can knock a second off with this. And it's a VO2 max exercise. And all that's happening when you get tired is, VO2 max is how much oxygen can the body uptake in its body at one time to send oxygen to all the muscle cells so they keep going. When the muscles run out of oxygen, they slow down. Then the lactic acid comes and the burn. And you, ah, ah, because you, you, your VO2 max is, is, is not high enough for the distance. So, what a build a VO2 max? It's almost suggested to make sure you get your VO2, VO2 max higher to be ready to do the harder, longer sprints 200, 400. And especially if you're doing any endurance, race walking, whatever. So you take a kettlebell and you're gonna do the you're gonna do the swings. And, and the exercise is just these swings, I'm, I'm sure you've all seen them, or you're like this. But they're called they're called uh, 20s. So you want to start here, you take a deep breath in your nose, then blow out through your mouth. Set it down, rest, pick it up, do two. Set it down, pick it up, do three. You do that all the way up to 20. Then, your next workout, you wanna make a goal to work your way up to where you're doing, when you get to 20 of these, you're only taking 10 breaths. So like on, on four, if I'm gonna take one breath for four, instead of four breaths for four, 
you know, I'm going to go. <sighs> so then that's shredding your body to be able to go longer with less air. And then, then when you get out onto the 400 or the 200 or the 100, whatever you're doing is, that, that's a, uh, your VO2 max is, is not strong enough, you will see, you go like, oh my gosh, it's so much easier. Way easier. So that is a mandatory exercise to do at least twice a week. Fit that in into your workout as, as, a, as an extra thing in order to get that endurance up, that VO2 max up. VO2 max. Okay. And then, of course, the most important thing for the sprinters and jumpers is the actual track workouts, which are going to be given to you in the app uh, on what to do next, and then you're good to go. Bring it all together. Have a good one.